guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm really, really, really excited to be filming because it's all about the new Pat McGrath lip kit. Look at this bad bitch. It's usually it's like filled up with sequin, like all the way to the top. Like you couldn't see these products in it, but I was too excited and I opened it and I like poured out all the sequin because I didn't want to make a mess in my room. But you can see a couple of the pink ones right there and they're in the bottom, it's really cute. So basically Pat McGrath, first products she came out with were highlighters, which were absolutely amazing. I really wanted them, but they were sold out and I just, I don't have any of them sadly. <laughs> but I really, <laughs> I really wanted them. I've used some of Jeffree's and they're absolutely amazing, intensely pigmented highlighters, which I love. And recently she just came out with these new lip kits, like the Lip Lust 004, I think that's what they're called. I had the shade Flesh and I personally was sent this product. I only was sent the one, so I don't have like the darker shade and I don't have like the redder shades or anything like that, but I do have the nude ones, so hey, let's go and try them out. I really wanted to try them out on camera. I haven't actually put them on my lips yet or anything like that. It's gonna be a first impressions, and I really wanna try these out because this is 60 bucks, man. This kit, mind you, it has five products in it, which I think is a lot. For 60 bucks, five products, like that's actually pretty bomb, not gonna lie. I know that there's like an ultimate kit that's 150 bucks and that's literally all three of the color of the kits combined. And then there's one where it's just a lipstick solo for like 25 bucks, I think. So, I mean, it's cool that you can mix and match and pick and choose whatever you want with the thing. This is the first edition limited release flesh kit. Where was this bad bitch made? Let's talk, let's, let's talk about this. So it comes with Flesh Lipstick 1, Flesh Lipstick 2, a clear vinyl gloss, the metallic gold pigment, and the Flesh Micro Fine Glitter, straight from the lab. Hmm, very, very, very cool. The lipsticks themselves were made in Italy, and the pigment the gloss is made in Canada, and the Flesh Glitter is made in Canada. And the gold pigment is in the US. How funny that these are all like all over the place, it's not by one lab, which is really cool. I mean, hey. Mix and match, man. If you can, if you find the good shit in other labs, use that shit. Honestly, let's just jump right in. Why am I beating around the proverbial bush? I don't know. Okay, let's take these bad bitches out. So we get the gold pink, the little green, and the little green thing. I'm actually really excited to try this out. Honestly, I'm so stoked. <laughs> okay, flesh number one right here. Let's swatch it. Ooh. That's nicely pigmented, guys. Feels good. It looks really, really beautiful. Obviously, this is a nude. This is up my alley. Um, and so let's go and swatch number two. This guy right here. Also extremely pigmented. Stunning. It's like a dusty mauve purple shade. Gorgeous. Gorgeous pigmentation. Gorgeous color. We have the gold pigment, which looks like this. Let's do a little swatchy on the back of my hand, just to say we swatched it right here. It's right there, right next to the mauve color, the flesh number two lipstick. Um, honestly, wait, the pigment is not that crazy. I was expecting more. I've seen on Instagram people mix it with the gloss, so that's kind of how you're supposed to use it, I suppose. So I'm hoping that that will look a lot better. I'm praying, I am praying. Mix some of the gloss, this is some of the gloss right there. Let's mix it, why not? Let's just see how it looks. Hey, I would say it's definitely becoming more and more metallic and intense with the gloss. For sure, at first I was like, oh shit. I'm not that impressed. And we also have the Nude Micro Fine Glitter, which is a really, really, really pretty, basically it's like a rose gold glitter. Rose gold glitter, cool, cool. So let's go and put these bitches on the lips. I haven't tried anything yet. I'm insane. Okay, cool, so let's try flesh number one and let's see how it applies on the lips. Let me grab a mirror. Hmm. It applies very smooth, very creamy. It's a much, it's basically like an orangey nude. I'm not even lip line, this is crazy for me. What am I doing? I like it so far, for sure. So this is the color of flesh number one. Very peachy, yellowy nude. It's not a nude that I'm used to at all. Just not the kind of nude family that I go for, by any means. <laughs> but the lipstick itself is extremely comfortable and very pretty. It's obviously very pigmented, as you can see. I would say it's definitely more of a satin finish. It's not matte, but it's not shiny either, so it's not like a cream. But it's definitely very, very, very pretty. This kind of color, though, on me for some reason makes me look a little bit, like, ill. So, not the biggest fan of this color specifically, but if you guys are into the, like, yellowy nudes, like the yellowy orange nudes, you're gonna be obsessed. What if we pat a little bit of the gold with the gloss on top of this? What are we thinking? Am I being cray? Be honest. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of the gold pigment. I'm just gonna mix this bad bitch in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you guys seeing this shit? This is becoming like liquid gold, liquid metal, much more intense than it was by itself. With the gloss, it's like, 
Are you guys seeing this shit? I'm gonna put that on our lips because mommy is excited. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Wow. Okay, so this is what it looks like mixed with the lipstick. So I feel like it looks a little bit kind of green toned. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it looks gold or do you guys think it looks a little green? I think it looks a little bit of green. It has a little bit of a green tint to it. It's very similar to like Max Old Gold kind of thing. But again, it's super cool. The effect is so sick. Do you guys see how mirrored my lips are? They're intense. I don't think I would mix this color with the gold pigment because I don't like really the green effect. But what I'm thinking of doing is after I do the other color, I'll do just the gold with the gloss and see how that looks by itself. And I think it'll give more of a golden look rather than more of a greenish hue. But it's sick, dude. It's different. It's fucking different. Okay, so on to the next color. I'm gonna go in with the shade Flesh Number Two. And this is more of a dusty, mauvey shade. Let's see how this looks. One swipe. Holy pigment, okay. I like that. Ooh, this shade even feels better than the last one. I don't, ooh, I like this. Wow, extremely pigmented, extremely smooth. It's a little hard to overdraw when the edge is a little blunt, but not everyone overdraws. That's more of a me problem. This color, this pigmentation, is actually everything and I'm kind of obsessed. Like for this formula and this color, I would pay 25 bucks because individually they're 25. The other one, I felt like the formula was a little bit different. I felt like it wasn't as pigmented. It's pigmented, but it's not as pigmented as this one. It's so, this one's like full coverage, intense, right away, very smooth, very creamy, very lightweight on the lips too, which I really appreciate. Tell me this is not stunning. You can't, because it is. So for this one, let's just do a little bit of gloss on it to see what the gloss will look like on top to see how intensely shiny the gloss is, and then we'll add the glitter on top of that. Ooh. Wow. Look how wet my lips look, guys. I look so pouty. Ooh, I like it. I like it. That gloss really gives you an intense ass reflect. I'm a little shook. Okay, let's go and add the glitter on top of this. Oh. The glitter is a little hard to take out. <laughs> what I ended up having to do was stick a little pin inside the glitter hole to make it kind of loosen up, and I finally got some out on the cap. Can you see? But it was a struggle. You can't really just do it right away because it's so filled up with glitter, which is great. So let's go and just put this on. <gasps> oh. oh my god, this is gorgeous. What do you guys think? I think it looks fucking sick, honestly. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like with flesh number two with the glitter on top. I don't know if you guys can see, but honestly, it looks so stunning. I feel like I'm kind of talking funny because I don't want to eat all the glitter. What you want to do is use like glitter glue to secure gloss, like the Lit Cosmetics glitter glue or the Too Faced glitter glue. That would work really, really well with this type of look, but honestly, it looks so pretty. Can you guys tell? I can like hear myself eating all the glitter, crunching. <laughs> It's gorgeous. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and take off this one and just do the gold by itself and see how it looks. That's us trying every single combination and we'll see what we get. Okay, last but not least, let's go ahead and try just the gloss with the pigment by itself and see how it looks together. We're going to do just gloss in a big little circle. It looks like that. Okay, so we're going to mix in the gold pigment. A good old amount in there. And let's mix it all together with our fingers. It just looks so cool it honestly is just such like a little potion ah son of a bitch it looks crazy i'm living okay put it on with our fingers for now and then we'll use a brush later Ooh. whoa 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 and this is what it looks like by itself again i feel like i'm talking a little funny you guys see that Ooh, that is a sticky gloss. Okay, so I don't really know how I feel about the gloss by itself with the with the gold pigment. I honestly just feel like it's really, really sticky. And I definitely think I put on a lot, which is my mistake. I don't think you need this much to get the color payoff, but I really did want to just kind of really make sure that everything was there and intense and really pigmented and crazy right away. So this is what it looks like um, by itself with just the gloss and the pigment. I think it's so sick. I think it's a little bit less green than it was, but still definitely more of a greenish tone to it. What do you guys think? 
Would you guys wear this out like casually? Would you guys wear a gold ass mirrored lip casually? I think this effect is really, really cool. It's very different. It's very unique. I definitely think it's more on the editorial side. Are a lot of people going to be taking this and wearing this out to go grocery shopping? Maybe. Maybe. But is everyone? Definitely not. I think the effect is super badass. It does get over all over my teeth, but it's one of those things, man, you're gonna have to forfeit it for that cool effect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and give you, is it worth it or not? Is it worth the price or not? So, <sighs> drum roll. P.S. I really wanna come up with a better name for it this like series of me reviewing products and saying if it's worth it or not, like if it's worth the price or not. Maybe you guys can help me with that. If you guys can, if you have an idea what to call this, like is it worth it or not, kind of like a title, like yay or nay kind of thing. Let me know in the comments bar below because I would really appreciate your guys' input because I'm just not good at coming up with that kind of shit, you know? I'm just trying to make the videos here. But I would love you guys' opinions on it in the comments bar below. Please leave me something. Please leave me something. If you guys can come up with something, it would be great. <laughs> so, back to the video. Is the entire kit worth $60? Honestly, in my real, true opinion, I don't think it's worth $60. The lipsticks themselves, these guys, are they worth $25? Bucks? Yes. I think the lipstick itself is absolutely beautiful. I think they're stunning. I think they're beautiful. And if you're going to buy both of them, I would definitely just get the kit instead. But for me, the first color has like more of a yellowy orange tint to it. I don't like that kind of color. This color, I'm obsessed with. I would buy this 100%. I would spend 25 bucks in a heartbeat for this. But for this kit, the flesh kit, mm, I would not spend 60 bucks for it because honestly, it's not doing it for me. The gold color for me, it has a green tint to it that I don't like. I don't like a greenish tint to the gold. I want it to be a pure, intense, solid gold. The clear gloss, I can get clear gloss anywhere. And the glitter, I have tons and tons and tons of glitters from different brands that are cosmetic grade glitter that can work just as well. So, do I think total is it worth 60 bucks? I don't. I think the concept is fantastic and I'm sure the other shades are fantastic. I only have the flesh one so I can only go off of this one. Maybe one of the other kits is absolutely amazing and worth the 60. But for me, in my opinion, on this flesh kit, is it worth 60? No. Is flesh number two lipstick worth 25? Fuck yeah, it's absolutely amazing. But yeah, that's my honest opinion on the matter. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm in no way, shape, or form trying to bash the brand at all. I think the products are still beautiful. I just don't think it's worth $60. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to save you guys some coin. So if you guys think it's worth the money, fuck yeah, go out and buy it. Awesome. But unless you're going to be doing glitter lips and golden chrome like cyborg lips, it's not gonna really be worth it for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys actually call this series, this reviewing series of products to review. I would love another name and I would love an opinion on it. But yeah, other than that, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye you guys, I love you so much. Mwah. Because it is a I was on the phone texting and it smeared. Dang it. They're just gonna get everywhere, huh? Oh fuck, okay. Ah, I cleared up my nose. My mouth was like an asshole. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of the gold pigment. Oh! I said a little. Bring it.